the industry and export oriented one and coir and coir products are exported to more than 122 countries all over the world estimated about 2,700 uh, million of foreign export value. The coir board was set up under the coir industry act 1953 by the government of India for the overall sustainable development of coir industry in India and encouraging the scientific, technological, economical research, modernization, quality improvement, human resource development, market promotion and welfare of all those who are engaged in this industry. The headquarters of Kair Board is located at MG Road, Cochin, Kerala. Two research institutes also we have, one is Central Kair Research Institute and one is Central Institute of Kair Technology at Karnataka. CCRA at Alapi, Kerala state. The only national level training institute which we are offered at Alapura, that is this institute, National Choir Training and Design Center at Kalavur, Alapi district of Kerala. Apart from Tanjavur, the training, very good training center also, we are running there with all facilities for the particular sector developing the entrepreneurship as well as the high level of technological input in-house training, advanced and artisan level, Tanjavur for Tamil Nadu, Pinia Industrial Estate CICT campus, the RO office, Bengaluru for Karnataka, Rajamandri East Godavari district, Andhra Pradesh, Bhuvaneshwar for Orissa and other North Asian uh, states. The peoples are coming, the students are coming, trainees are coming, entrepreneurs are coming for joining with all this SROs and RO office. We are also offering the field training centers also. The main function of NCT and DC is provide intensive training in advanced method of kite technologies, manufacturing including spinning, dyeing, weaving and manufacture of handicrafts and choir ornaments also equip the choir industry with advocate trained personnel. Because without advocate trained personnel, the manpower, there is no question of development of any kind of industry. Even though we are developing different kinds of modern technologies, so it is very difficult to, to operate the such machineries without in the manpower with the skill knowledge. The abreast knowledge also we offer through our classes in house as well as field. And now the special situation all over the world, we are offering the e-tutorials. That is the system and the philosophical background of these classes. And you see, choir industry in India is the second largest producer coconut after Indonesia with an annual production of 12,597 million nuts, area under cultivation of half a million hectares, employees, 6,22,000 workers directly and indirectly they are including and related to choir industry and 80 percent of women workers. This is the process we are also taking one by one classes. I will show you the slides for the remaining classes what is actually going on the e-tutorials. So as an introductory level so, more detailed classes will come soon with the scholars and the faculties of departments of choir board. So, it is dehusking. After plucking the coconut, we have to dehusk and we will get the outer natural helmet that is called husk. And the husk can be utilized. How the husk can be utilized in a small tiny unit under PMEGP? How can a small woman? can run a small unit for getting fiber by using a small machine that is called Swarna, the mechanic machine, mobile fiber extraction machine developed by Central Choir Research Institute. And the byproduct is actually choir pith. 